Hey, Stroke Lines. In this video on Auto Hockey Studio, I wanted to cover um, what what happens when things go wrong with Studio. Um, it's I'd say once a month or so, I have some issue where um, Studio just won't load, and I want to demonstrate. I've actually monkeyed with my my software here, the the version. So when I click it, um, it's going to come up. It looks like it's trying to load, and for whatever reason, especially this blue circle, this is what I'll end up often seeing a lot is it doesn't load and then I actually can't cancel it. I can't close out of it. It's, um, it's a bummer, major bummer, but, um, so what I usually do is go into like task manager and, um, find it. This one's not responding. So I'll hit delete here. Oh, and that killed it right off. Sometimes you have to look down. There's another version of it and kill that too. Um, but basically, um, Make sure it stores everything in XML files, all your settings and stuff. So what you do is navigate to where Studio is installed. So here I have it on my C drive and um, go to the lib folder. And in there, you're going to have um, a bunch of these are your, your basically a lot of different settings. Um, you actually see here you have XML backup as well. So you can come in here and then for each one of the XML files, there are I think it's five. Let's go. Let's see the GUI. Where's GUI? What did I see? GUI. All right, let's do settings. Oh, there's GUI at the bottom. Anyway, but see, there's five in the timestamps when they were. So your last five, I think it's five. Yeah, five items. Let's go down to where's GUI. Here's GUI. Yeah, another five items. Um, I was opening and closing Studio a lot, so it was back. Keep it keeps the last five, right? Otherwise, this file would grow pretty crazy. And uh, these are these are all ones you could revert to. So what you could do is come back to your sorry to your lib folder and rename what i would do is rename the file you're trying to fix the, here's the order you should that maestrieth um recommends you go in is um first remove gui now i actually usually i don't i don't um edit it i don't replace it with the old one because it's really simple so i just delete gui i'd say at least three quarters of the time that's the issue this gui xml file and if you open it, oh that was nothing i want to mention if you are trying to edit it um studio has to be closed now i'll, I'll demonstrate that here in a minute because um, obviously i can't open studio at the moment but um if you did want to go in there and try to grab some stuff um, especially in your settings file because it's a big file and you might you know you, you don't want to i don't want to delete my settings file because there's a lot of other stuff in there all my hotkeys my toolbars and other things are in there in um in in history of files i've had open things like that i'm like yeah I, I i really don't want to lose that so i'd like to get that one working um but you can go in and, and kind of you know find out what you want but here's the thing studio when it every time studio closes it rewrites the xml these xml files and so what you don't want to do is use studio to edit the file because the second you save it it actually um it will rewrite its own version. Um, and so you have to, I'm sorry, you don't want to edit another program and then close studio because um, if you close studio after you save this, studio will overwrite it with the old bad info. So make sure you have studio closed when you, if you go in to edit these and then um, you can make your changes and then see, then try to open studio. So I happen to know, cause I monkeyed with it. Um, my settings file, um, and this is what I did in my settings was I, this was the, um, I had a, a working settings file and I, um, let me, so I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to restore my working one. And because that was the one thing I had changed and, and started having these hangups, which I, I purposely did this, right? Because I was trying to make it crash and I couldn't, but notice here. All right. So here's a good example where this is the, um, the project explorer down here and it's, it's, it's got an issue, but this was actually, I, I first monkeyed with this and this is, you might see this kind of weirdness too and go, what's going on? Hey, well, that's a good one. I believe now again here, if I was to come in here and change the GUI file or even delete it, it would rewrite, you know, and then close and open studio. It would still have this information because let's just do it. So I'm going to delete it. And now when I close studio, notice it throws it back here. And then when I open studio, it's going to be the same, right? Because that's what it had in memory when it closed. So the proper order is make sure studio is closed, um, then delete it. This will force studio to, to, or I could have bring in, brought in one of my old backup ones, right? Um, I just, for the GUI one, it's a no brainer. Um, I just delete it and start over cause I can get it the way I want it. And there we go. Wow. Look at that. It's beautiful. Um, 
Now, granted, I would, you know, I, I remove some of the Project Explorer, or actually, I, I sorry, the Code Explorer and put the Project Explorer down there, blah, blah, blah. But um, you get the idea of it. The um, the other, so there's three files are the main files that um, that Maestrez recommends. Um, and here's the order. So um, try GUI first. Oh, why don't, why, again, why don't I see GUI? Oh, because I, I have to close Studio. So it hasn't even written it yet. Right now when I close it, now there'll be an updated GUI. So try either editing or copying your old one of GUI. If that doesn't work, the C XML is the Code Explorer XML file. So that's the second one you should monkey with, right? And then the third one would be your settings. Now your settings, again, can have a lot of information in it. So um, maybe it doesn't recommend you actually, you know, deleting it. You might want to go in there and, and um, let me see, where's my... Oh, did I keep my old? I don't know if I did. Let's open this one. Uh, but so we can still get the idea. Um, you could go through and let's see if I had. So here are the files I had open, right? So even if you don't have a, a good working version of it, if you keep the backup, you can go in and copy some of this and, and of course, make sure you close Studio and paste in. It doesn't matter where they are. XML doesn't care where they are as long as you keep the open and close tags and don't put them inside something else. Um, and so you can, you can, here's my previous scripts list, which before was, you know, of course, you know, really long. Um, but that's a great way to, to be able to not lose all your settings and um, to get out of the, the studio jail where it just won't load or it's looking funky. So um, again, for me, it happens, I'd say once a month where something weird is going on and uh, Mace just tried putting his finger on what it is that's happening. It'd be great if we can track it down, but um, there's never a clear you know, this is what's going on. So anyway, hope that helps. Have a good day. Thanks, Mike.